So Doug from Wisconsin emails to ask what version of the Linux operating system I'm using and what version would I recommend for somebody new to the Linux world wanting to learn the ropes. Well Doug you're in luck because by choosing to learn Linux you have gotten involved with one of the most fragmented operating systems in the history of the world. Uh, there are literally thousands of versions of Linux out there so there's bound to be one that's going to fit your specific needs and kind of experience and user level. Um, that said, let's let's talk about what Linux is for a moment. For those of you who don't know, Linux is an operating system. It is an alternative operating system to the popular Microsoft Windows operating system that most of you are probably using right now. It was developed in the mid-1990s by Linus Torvalds and is a derivative of an older operating system called Unix that was developed in the 1960s by AT&T and Bell Labs. Now the big problem with Unix was that if you had a problem with the operating system, if it didn't work with some piece of hardware, or if there was a glitch that made it kind of mess up with some piece of hardware, or if it didn't support the latest hardware, there was really nothing you could do. You had to wait until at and Bell Labs issued a new patch that supported that piece of hardware or that software or whatever, whatever the case may be. Now, and that was because the operating system was what was called closed source. In other words, you didn't have access to the underlying computer code that made up the operating system. Uh, only AT&T and Bell Labs did. Along came Linus in the 1990s and said, why don't you have access to that computer code? You're a smart person. You know your hardware. You know what changes you need. Why should some megalith, you know, megalithic con uh, corporation control your computer? And so he wrote Linux in what's called the open source way. In other words, when you get Linux, you have access to the underlying computer source code. You can change it. You can do whatever you want with it. You can even sell it if you want because you have that power. Now, that's in direct contrast to AT&T's, you know, we own the code, um, and even Microsoft's, we own the code, we own the rights to it, and there's nothing you can do besides basically rent it from us. Now, that very power that Linux has in that you have the code and you can change it is also its downfall because everybody does change it, and that's why there are thousands of different versions out there. So I would suggest really that you look around and try some different versions. Now, as for the version that I'm using, I choose what I consider one of the best versions of, versions of Linux ever created. It's called Ubuntu, and it comes in two flavors. The first is an operating system that you can install on your computer's hard disk. It will replace Windows for you. Now, if you're a new if you're a new Linux user, you probably don't want to do that. You don't want to leave the Windows world totally. So, what I would suggest is that you use what's called a live CD. The live CD allows you to take this to take the operating system, burn it to a CD, put it in your CD-ROM drive turn on your computer and boom you're in Linux. You can function just like it was installed on your computer. You can install programs, you can write documents, you can serve the internet, basically do everything you could um, if you had the operating system installed on your computer. But when you're done, you take the CD out, turn off your computer, turn it back on and voila, you're back in Windows. It's that easy. So I would suggest the live CD of Ubuntu. You can get it at www.ubuntu.net or it may be ubuntu.org. You do need to check that out, Google it. Um, and that's actually what I would suggest for a newbie. It's a, it's a class act app operating system. It is probably one of the slickest and, and, and smoothest experiences in Linux that I've ever had. Because Linux can be a bit daunting to newbies. The, if, if you take some of the other distributions, it can take you hours, and I've even read days, uh, to get some of the, uh, the, the, the systems up. So I would suggest starting with Ubuntu and uh, exploring from there. If you don't like it, there's uh, Slackware, there's Debian, there's um, Red Hat, um, just a whole, like I said, over 2,000 versions of Linux. Uh, but I, I really think you'll be happy with Ubuntu, and um, I hope that you like it. Email me and let me know what you think of it uh, once you've had time to try it. If anybody has any suggestions, um, I'd love to hear them in the comments section of this video. Uh, tell me what you like. Um, what are you using? Do you hate Ubuntu? Do you love Ubuntu? Do you use something else? Talk to me.